Uh, breaking news throughout the day you may have seen is that Notre Dame Cathedral caught fire today. Uh, we found out about it early in the, kind of early-ish in the morning on our time, West Coast time. But um, here is kind of where it is right now, according to uh, the Associated Press. The cause of the blaze was not known at the time, but French media quoted the Paris Fire Brigade as saying the fire is, quote, potentially linked to a $6.8 million renovation project on the church's spire and its 250 tons of lead. Prosecutors opened an investigation, as Paris police said. There were no reported deaths. I did hear earlier today that there was one firefighter who was injured pretty bad, so they're continuing to keep people updated oh on that. Some people were on the scene and uploaded some breathtaking photos that were immediately available. As you see in that video, the spire itself that was under construction, that's the last anyone will ever see of it because it unfortunately did give in to the changes in heat that ate away at the infrastructure inside it, and that spire did collapse. Um, however, they are saying that they were able to save it. So now, according to Laurent Nuyez, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. They said, the fire is now weaker. We are now in a time of cooling, but both towers of the cathedral, those are the ones that you think of when you think Notre Dame, are safe. Oh, great. We're still working to save the cathedral's work of arts. That's um, the thing. There are lots of antiquities wow. in there beyond just the Notre Dame Cathedral. There's just so much in there. There are relics associated with uh, Catholicism, and it's not only a place of worship, it's a place of a tremendous tourism. It's representative of Paris, of course, so it's really... It's quite sad. And by the way, Trump uh, tweeted they should drop uh, uh, um, from above. They should drop. They should have air-supported helicopter drops of water. And the reason they can't do that, of course, he doesn't know, but he didn't bother to check with anybody, is because the roof is would would, would cave under that weight of any kind of drop from above. So that's why you don't see any helicopters, for example, being used in this effort. Right, wow. and there's some of the uh, footage that we've been able to see. That was the police in uh, Paris put a drone up to get a better look at it from above, and they released that footage, and it is just absolutely engulfed in flames. The flames were billowing for hours and hours before they were finally able to, just recently, as of the time we shoot this, probably an hour ago, mm -hmm. hour and a half ago, they were um, reporting that they had it under control. But this is a building that was, they started construction of it in the 12th century. Yeah, exactly. It took 300 years to build it. I mean, it's a... Uh it's it's an incredible thing. Those flying buttresses that they use, I mean, they're, they become famous. There's so much special famous from an archeological standpoint, from a religious standpoint, from a Parisian standpoint about Notre Dame. It's literally in the center of town. There's like a plaque on the ground apparently because everyone who's reporting on it talks about how much they've, how many times they've been to Paris. Oh, really? Yeah, but I mean, I get it. It's um, another thing that was very, emo I mean, it's obviously emotional. This is Notre Dame, people go there and they have these literally religious experiences. Um, and even if you're not a religious person, it's just utterly impressive to be inside there. Yeah, all and this, the historical value of it, and yeah, definitely. Yeah, things that will be lost forever. But there were people that were um, at midnight, around midnight in Paris, all, like around the scene, and they were singing hymns together. Mm. Um, and it is Holy Week, this is the, you know, the week leading up to Easter, so there are more people in town to visit it than normal. Um, and um, some of them who were there yesterday were the last that are gonna see it for quite some time. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com slash app.